hi welcome back to another youtube video in this video i will be going over every step you can take to generate more leads on linkedin so you can generate those more appointments and get more clients now i know a lot of people say that linkedin doesn't work i will be going over why it doesn't work for some people and what steps you could take to make sure it does work for you and how you can automate this whole process as well now i have everything over my screen so let's just start right with it so let's continue with this i will be talking about why linkedin why it doesn't work for some people and the steps you can finally take to make sure it does work for you. let's talk about why linkedin is important so if you are selling to any b2b business out there you have to use linkedin since there is a 99 percent chance that your ideal prospects will be on linkedin since everybody is using to hire people or maybe grow their brand or post any update about their company so it's the best solution if you are selling to any b2b businesses also if you are selling to local businesses it can still work but it's not as effective as it is with b2b businesses <laughs> reason number two it has the most up-to-date data and better data so linkedin provides sales navigator as well which has like database of around 800 million plus contacts so you can find anybody and everybody there you can have more information about that what what is their work experience where they have worked what what is their educational background and use that to your advantage reason number three is they it has around 875 million users and more than 300 million users are active every month so you can book any amount of meetings you want if you get these steps right which i am going to show you why do people struggle to generate leads on linkedin reason number one they can't really find their ideal clients and how to connect with them reason number two so even if they connect with their right prospects they don't really know what first messages to send how to follow up with their ideal prospects now i will show you how to find right prospects on linkedin so you have to find right people to build relationship and book more meetings on linkedin and your targeting could depend on the roles or industry you work with so there are multiple methods you could use to find the right people on LinkedIn. First is you could use LinkedIn search bar, which is available to everybody. So you can filter out people based on their name, job, company they work for, location they are in. Or maybe you want to target a specific group of people from a particular university. You can do that as well with the first method. Second is you could attend similar events which your prospects are interested in. So for example, if you are interested in lead generation or you sell a solution which is important to people who are into lead generation, you can attend an event which is related to lead generation. So you know that you will find like-minded people there, right? So that's how you can find uh, people through LinkedIn and reach out to them. So you will be surprised like you will get a great connection rate through this strategy since you are attending similar events and you can use that in your connection request as well so what you can do is you attend an event and get data of all those attendees from those events and reach out to them and see if they are interested in talking more about what you really have since they have already attended the event they might be interested in listening what you really have for them now the third step is you could join groups so linkedin has groups as well where you can connect with like-minded people so for example, you sell anything related to lead generation. So you can join groups which are related to B2B lead generation or any kind of lead generation and you will find most of your target prospects from there. Now coming on the fourth step, which is the best method to find right prospects on LinkedIn is to use Sales Navigator, which is a paid version of LinkedIn. So it costs around $100 a month, but it's well worth it. So what you will get so you will get access to like all the leads or all the people on LinkedIn and you could also reach out to some people without connecting with them. So LinkedIn Sales Navigator is really a superpower which you can use. So let me show you how you can use it to find better targets for your company. So let's talk about how to use LinkedIn Sales Navigator like a pro. So when you use LinkedIn Sales Navigator to find prospects, you can filter people based on job title, location, groups. And I use two more filters while finding my prospects. So whenever you are reaching out to someone, you want to make sure that they are really active on LinkedIn, right? So with the fourth filter, what you can make sure is that they have already used LinkedIn in the last 30 days. There is really a high probability of them 
checking out the LinkedIn and accepting your connection request so you can send them a message to you know engage with them so I use this filter because LinkedIn give you a limited amount of connection requests every week which you can send it may be around 100 to 200 a week so you want to be sending those requests to people who are really active on LinkedIn you don't want to be wasting those requests on someone who doesn't even use LinkedIn but has a profile right also with the fifth filter you can also target people who have changed job in last 20 days so you can if you help some people who have just recently changed their job so this this filter is really helpful in that scenario so that's how you can use linkedin sales navigator search to get more good prospects for you you can use boolean search to find the right targets for your company moving on there are two ways to send connection requests first is you can send connection requests without including any personal note which is what i would suggest if you are using any automation but if you are doing it manually i would suggest you send connection request with a personalized note so you get a really high connection request rate while starting out so you can connect with those high value prospects and reach out to them and talk to them about their pain points and book a call with them right so you see how someone receives a connection request when you send a request to them so it's really your profile that has to sell your connection request so that's why I suggest we have to optimize your LinkedIn profile so you can look more professional and people are more inclined to accept your connection request. Now here is the step by step process to optimize your LinkedIn profile and make it as professional as you can. Right, Your profile is a digital sales pitch for your professional brand. You can showcase your professional accomplishment, credentials and make you more that can make you more credible and visible to your network. So here is the step by step process of optimizing your profile. So step one is getting a professional banner. So make sure your banner is related to what you really do or who you really help with. Second, I suggest you get a professional headshot. So you could look more credible or your profile could look more professional. Third is your headline which everybody sees when they receive your connection request or when somebody hovers over your profile on in any comment section, they will see your headline. So you want it to be very professional. You want it to be related to what you really do or who you really help with, what experience you might have or whatever you want to communicate through your tagline. Then I suggest you write a strong summary of what you really do, what type of companies you work with, what type of solution you have, any case studies you want to include you might have. right? Then you can include the next step a prospect could take after looking at your profile after summary i suggest you add relevant experience you have in this field you add re relevant skills and endorsement related to the solution you are selling so if you are into b2b lead generation i suggest you add sales development as a skill outbound prospecting something on those lines so if you are into marketing you might want to add facebook ads google ads seo so that's how i want you to add skills and endorsements you can also add any accomplishment or publications you might have released with some media company. So in the end, I suggest you use more relevant keywords so your profile can rank better on LinkedIn. So you can get those inbound meetings. Now you have found your right prospects. You have connected with them. You have optimized your profile. Now it's time to reach out to your prospects. After connecting with your ideal clients, it's time to get those meetings booked. So here is a messaging framework for you which you can use to get those meetings booked. So here's the messaging framework. So with your outreach, you have to make sure that your message is very short and relevant. Look, nobody has time to read those two to three paragraph messages. So everybody wants to know like what you have. Is this relevant to them and are they interested in that? Right. Also, you should have one goal with your outbound messaging. It is to start the conversation. It's not about booking the meeting. It's about finding the right prospects who needs your services. You just don't want to book meetings with the wrong prospects. You want to book those meetings with the right prospects. Right. So now you have a one clear goal to start the conversation and your outreach should be short and relevant. So now comes the last point, which is having a one clear call to action. Now, I know a lot of people send like multiple call to actions. They will ask for their interest or even for getting a meeting booked. You have to avoid that. You have to make sure you have a one clear objective with your outreach. Either it's getting the meeting book or starting the conversation. But, but don't be very broad in your outreach. You have to be very narrow. 
So here is an example of outreach message I have sent to my prospects, which have got me great results. Also, this is a personalized message. So I'll show you what personalization elements I have used. So whenever I'm reaching out to someone, I will say, hey, I was on your website and saw you work with lawyers. I connect companies similar to yours with their ideal clients on a performance basis. Would you be interested in connecting with more lawyers? So you see, it's very personalized since I have researched about their company, who they work with, what really does matter to them. Like I know if they are working with lawyers and if I can connect them with more lawyers, they will be very interested, right? So now I have one clear goal with this to start or to see whether they are interested in getting more meeting booked. So if they say they are interested in this, so I'll just go ahead and book a time with them to talk more about coming to follow up. So after you have sent your first message, there is high chance that you will get ignored. You might get like 10 to 15% replies on your first message since this is very personalized, but you won't get everybody to reply on your first message. So for that, you have to keep following up with them. So I suggest keep following up with them at least two, three more times before stopping your outreach. So there are three type of follow ups you could do. First is you can follow up with the value proposition. You could share an article or resource that might be valuable to them. Second is you can send personalized GIFs and images to your prospects, which works great. So if you want to stand out, try sending this using Hyperrise. This is a great software for this and it will make your job a lot easier. The third is soft follow ups. If so, if you want to follow up with them traditionally as you have been doing previously, that's okay as well. Just make sure that you are professionally in your outreach since LinkedIn is a very professional platform. So I suggest try to be creative in your follow ups and try to break the pattern of what they are already used to seeing in the outreach from other people. Now I have explained the whole process of how you can find those right prospects, how you can optimize your profile and how to reach out to your right prospects. Now how you can automate this whole process. So you could use any of these software to put your lead generation on steroids. So these are basically LinkedIn automation software in which you don't have to do a lot. You just have to put in a list of prospects you want to connect with and it will do everything for you. So if you don't have any budget issues, I suggest you go with expended.io, which is like $100 a month. If you remember, I told you LinkedIn has a limit of around 100 to 200 connection requests a week, but these softwares will help you bypass that and send a like 50 to 60 connection request a day. So this makes the job a lot easier. But before using this software, I suggest you do things manually. Since I think you have to do unscalable things to really scale the things. Since doing that will give you such insights that that will help in automating your whole process. So when I was doing LinkedIn lead generation, I used to manually send every message by myself and follow up with them as well. But now when I know what works on LinkedIn, I have automated the whole process where the software sends connection requests automatically to my prospects, send them messages as well and follow up with them. And whenever somebody replies, I manually handle that and book those meetings. So now me. coming on to LinkedIn inbound marketing. So it's just really three steps. You create content to get more attention from your prospects. You funnel that attention into your LinkedIn profile so you, they can get a better idea of what you really do. And then talk to those prospects to book more calls and sell your services. So that's really it. You create content, get more attention and connect with your ideal prospects and sell your services. That's really it. That's how I do it. And, and I have gotten multiple clients. Now to coming to the end of this video, I hope you get idea of how LinkedIn works how you can find your right prospects, how you can reach out to them, how to follow up and how to get LinkedIn inbound leads as well. So if you have any questions, just let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.